So, 2020 is coming up, potentially the most pivotal year of Wormwood's existence. When I was touring Keystone, I realized in my head, holy fuck, we have so far to go. We are either going to need to commit to investing hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars and years of time into trying to scale these solutions and build out these solutions, or we make a strategic acquisition slash merger. The 2008 financial crash hit Keystone. They still are not back to the 2008 levels. It was a punch to the gut. It put them on their knees and they're trying to get back up to stand. And literally in the next year or two, if there's another recession, there's going to be a, a coup de gras. They will be out. Mm. This will be the biggest transition in Wormwood's history. Damn. Dice. <laughs> Kickstarter. High-end metal and gemstone dice. Smoky quartz. Snowflake like obsidian. obsidian. Whoa! It's flashy. But then I think I want to go one step further. I don't like it. He makes a dice vault. There's a lot going on. That speaks to the dice. There's a lot going on. And the general theme. Look how pretty these are. Nice and off-center. <clears throat> You're such a catty bitch. You know that? You are a, you are a catty, catty bitch. That's the door. Michelle did such a good job, and these have been selling so quick. We just can't keep these on the website. <sighs> You're bad influence. Oh! <laughs> oh! Do we have to get frank on this? The booths for conventions look as good as the quality of our products. Woo! Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Just if I can put them in the tray. Thank you. Corrupted logo. <laughs> look at that shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's made of solid tungsten. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, obviously there's issues with the sourcing. We do most of our work over in China, in our own workshop there, because of the Chinese New Year in January, and then the coronavirus shutdown. Yes. We're about three weeks behind. The mystery virus started here. I'm concerned, but I'm not over-worried about it. This is the worst thing that has ever happened at Wormwood from a brand perspective. Yeah. Here's like the worst Wormwood ads you could almost think of yeah. kind of idea. Yeah. Mm. And, and it went fucking yeah. live. I feel badly if this reflects on Critical Role. I feel badly if this reflects on Wormwood. I really just hope it reflects badly on me and my judgment. I just feel as if I've just completely let down the team. Mm. I do. I take it very seriously. A new case of the deadly coronavirus has been confirmed in Massachusetts. The federal government identifying Boston and Massachusetts as a hotspot. Emerald City Comic Con. Corona. <laughs> got corona. Concerns over the coronavirus forced a change in plan. This event and businesses attached just become another victim to the coronavirus. In terms of coronavirus, obviously a lot of shit going on in the world. There's a public health need, but then there's also an economic need for the workers. Universally, the workers here want to keep the shop open and running. Mm. Because we are building all of our own stuff, so far there's been absolutely no impact. We are fulfilling all of our Kickstarters on target, on time, and we've got a nice inventory, so we are very well positioned mm. for this. Non-essential businesses must close their physical locations. It's a financial hit that's rippled across the city. Communities have been hit. It's still still limited. Limited. In the initial weeks, it's closed. It's closed. It's closed. Slow the spread. Keep people healthy and prevent the loss of life. I got news yesterday from Keystone, and this is when shit got real real for me. Keystone is shut down. So I think there is a very good chance that this is the last day Wormwood is operational. All right. We had to make a hard pivot. It's a pretty historic time for Wormwood. Massachusetts is home to companies large and small that lead the world in technological advancement in so many areas. Online or e-commerce will also continue to be available. Operations that ship website orders are considered essential businesses. So we are going to be able to keep the website order fulfillment going for Wormwood. This is not a sprint, this is a marathon. Four months. 
So like whatever we're doing, we gotta like settle in for the long term. Cause this could be months. Let's ship some packages and organize things and move on to the next step. It's a facility that usually houses 65 people and we have 15. I had a breakdown Sunday morning. Oh really? Yeah. Things distinctly got shittier over the last two weeks. Like look at this fucking, hello! Basically right now we're just making sure that down however long a road this is, there is a wormwood left. We're trying to fucking survive. <laughs> well, that's yeah, how some people Yeah, we're trying to make some money because you know what? Ever like fucking people are laid off all the pl all over the place. I don't want to just be passive and take punches. I want to throw punches, and I feel like right now, like the world is a fucking punching bag, and it's uncomfortable. So any way that we can creatively solve these problems in a safe way. I'm gonna pursue those. We'll be dropping these off to some particular craftsmen. In it, they should receive everything they need to make our product. We are taking pieces of our shop, shipping them to the garages of our craftsmen so that they can create product from home. And now we're able to continue production. Not at our previous levels, obviously, but we're able to continue production. What's important to me is we're gonna be able to supplement everyone's income. Everyone's income is taking a major hit right now. It's just good to see people thriving under the chaos. Everything we can do to support our craftsmen while they're out in the community and can't come to work, that is what I am very pro doing. You seem like you've adjusted pretty well. I was really well set up for the adjustment, that's, that's for sure. That is for sure. Anything that I could possibly do to make sure that we come out the other side of this kicking and screaming, then I'm for it. If it has that symbol, it means that what you purchased was assembled by a craftsman under self-quarantine. We are looking at the homebrew collection. Ooh. We had a lot of people that were saying like, I want to know this is helping a craftsman work from home. And that's where these come from. I can't <laughs> that. How many people do we have back? So we brought Jimmy back, Trevor back, and Nick G. Look at these, look at these orders. Just carts and carts and carts. Is that homebrew? Like, do you know? Yeah, almost all homebrew. It's no secret medical professionals are facing a shortage of personal protective equipment. Bodily fluids from the lung, oftentimes are spewed into the air during the process of intubation. My wife, one of her girlfriends, is a nurse on Long Island. In this hospital she works in, they literally just hooked up their last ventilator. So when I heard that, I was like, wow, we should really get these boxes like going. You put this like acrylic box over them and then your hands come in this way so you can intubate them, which means put a tube down their mouth. And when they're like, blah, blah, like spitting and stuff, it's like Whoa. contained. We'll just fucking crank these things and send them out. There's fuck administration, fuck bullshit, fuck bureaucracy. Whoa. No, fuck it, we don't have time. We will just go down that list and start sending out these boxes. I think it's that simple. Oh, nice that fits in there. Right now we've got, I think it was like 120 of these shields order. I'm gonna be hiring three employees to come back and essentially work on these full time. If this interests you, let us know. It'll be completely free of charge. Everyone stay as healthy and happy as possible out there. So Bobby, how's the, uh, how's the Kickstarter going, Bobby? <laughs> It's not done. The price graphics aren't done. The stretch goal graphic isn't done. Oh, okay. The main video isn't done. And I still don't have assets from certain collaborators. <laughs> let's, well, let's be positive. What is done? Uh, I got a MailChimp ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> day one. Day one, day one is done. They just look like they were made for each other. It's something we've never done before. We're also in the middle of the pandemic. Like, we had no idea how this was going to perform. Oh, yeah! 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 Phoenix dice. Have you ever seen anything this beautiful? Spoiler, you haven't. Dr. B6. The signature GG20. Oh, oh my goodness. It's a really bad idea. Fuck it, fuck it. The violence, the anger, and the flames, at times well out of control, continued until dawn. Check the pulse! 
It's disturbing new video, the last minutes of George Floyd's life. Anyone who says riots don't change things or whatever hasn't been paying attention to history. The Boston Massacre was a riot, and it sparked a revolution that created our country. The violence and stuff is actually opposite of what we want to do. Like, I don't think people should be violent at all. Violence in general, probably not the answer. Civil disobedience, definitely. My father is a cop who's never discharged his weapon, ever. And he gets shit thrown at him. He gets shit yelled at him this week. And uh, it's tough. It's tough. He didn't, he didn't do anything to anyone. It's tough. No one gives a fuck about COVID anymore. I know. People care about this. This is a horrific, awful thing that happened to another human being where the people who were sworn to protect us murdered a man in broad daylight with civilians around him begging him to stop. Black lives matter! Black Do you lives think matter. that a movement like Black Lives Matter is necessary? Yes. 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 Unfortunately, yes. D without a doubt. Absolutely. Absolutely. fucking -lutely. Oh, here we go. Doug texted you yesterday? Actually, you want to show it? Uh-oh. Yeah. By the way, tomorrow, I have the biggest news of Wormwood's history. Get ready for big time stuff. The biggest news of our history. This better be crazy. We're in talks for a transaction to buy Keystone. Oh, my God. <laughs> Will you commit to a July deadline? July launch. The table, by the way, the lower cost table, it is designed. The first one is fucking built. No one gets to see it. $750 or lower. I would love to. Oh. Low cost gaming table. Cost. This is beta. This is the first time I've seen it. Breeze, feel this. Yeah, Breeze, please. Put your hand on it. There you go. A wireless charging pack. Oh, shut the fuck yeah. up. Will this be the biggest Kickstarter we've ever done? We are going to launch back to back <laughs> multi-million dollar Kickstarters like three months of each other. Has that ever happened in no. Kickstarter history? Jason and I are going to be, and Johnny, the three amigos, and JV, yeah. are moving to Pennsylvania yeah. for two months. We're going to be doing a trial period on a merger between Keystone and Wormwood. I destroyed it! Oh, whoa! What the hell? <laughs> Jesus, God! We need a lot of bunks. Big bunks. Big bunks. Big bunks and big often. The weight. What can this span hold? It, it passes stuff. the strength test. Yes, sir. Millennial suck. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Whoa! That was sick! What? No. Johnny, you did it! Pass it, The small, we have the medium, and then we got the big boy over here. Oh, That's my. What do you got there? <laughs> uh, the other hand! <laughs> this is a gaming table for every room. So yeah. It tucks on like that. Mm -hmm. The player desk. Look at that. So Come on. Nice. Come on. We have maple, dark stained maple, cherry, black walnut, paduk, wenge, and then purple heart. Oh my gosh. I, I love, love it. it. You love it? Little put on three. One, two, three. Little little put. Put. This is such an important product for us. This is such a key part of our company. I want to do it justice. He's telling me we shouldn't buy this company. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of value to me. It has sales, but it has not enough profit. Keystone needed Wormwood for those sales, but Wormwood needs Keystone for that production. Uh, That's how I look at it. Do we? I just, we do, do we, do we, we do if we want it to happen on any sort of short timeline. Right, yeah. Like we could well, it's, do it. It's the same as our last Kickstarter, right? Like we ran dice, we don't do that, like we need other Parks. producers, and it was like, is this Parks. gonna work? Is this worth doing? Yep, turns out it was. The thing is, they can do things, they have capabilities we literally do not have. James has a minimum that he wants. If that Kickstarter is successful enough where I can justify the price that he wants, I'm gonna pull the trigger. I wanna build 10,000 of these tables. We've designed the best damn table we could. I will be disappointed if we do not hit a million day one. A million dollars in 10 minutes. Two, two, oh my god. This oh, has yeah. got to be a world record pace on Kickstarter right now. Bobby! Hey, what's up, Bobby? What's up, Bobby? What is going on, guys? When the Kickstarter launched yesterday, we did hit two million. 
1.5 million and 3 million. Whoa. Faster than any uh, Oh my god. That's pretty yeah. good. Yeah. 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 That's 5,500 backers. That could be 7,000 tables. I have no oh idea. All on a day's work. Where are we going in an hour? Yeah, what are you We're going up to <laughs> Poughkeepsie to buy like $500,000 worth of machinery so yes. that we can mill all of this lumber effectively. Our company is either going to be transformed by this experience or crushed. We are here in beautiful scenic Poughkeepsie, New York. We're working on developing a lower cost table. What is the sticker price on this 175? And then, how much is this ad ladder? 330. Ooh, 340. We're gonna have all the information before we make an investment like this. Right. $1 million dollar Kickstarter, $10 million dollar Kickstarter. Jason, can you give me right now the machinery equipment we're looking to install at this location to get us ready for the uh, the modular gaming thing. Well, let's start from the beginning. Rip chop, cross cut machine, top bottom planer, frame saw. Do you have any other things on your wish list? A uh, dust zamboni. Rip chop, dust collection, top and bottom planer, double spindle CNC, frame saw, dust zamboni. <laughs> Eight hundred eighty-two thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> How much it's is, so much worse than I thought. How much is the Kickstarter uh, for? <laughs> oh my how god. How much did we actually... Oh. That's oh, fine. That is so much money. Great. What's next? <laughs> <laughs> This is Mike Saltzman. Michael Saltzman, the name right there. He has a passion for value. value. You build a brand around the fact that you get better pricing and you do it in volume. You get you get repeat business. This is why I want to work with this guy because you hire character. Exactly. The question is, if we are launching this retail brand for the gaming essentials, is it frugal goose? Or is it loot goose? Why is it a goose? This has nothing to do with your brand. I don't understand this. They're so confused and it's brilliant. They're, they're wrong though. It's That's the thing. They're, they're, so, they're oh, wrong. Jimmy, is he always like that? <laughs> what? <laughs> passionate. <laughs> Where is the rest of the duck? These aren't logos. This is like weird abstract goose. I'm gonna try and break it down really, really simple. <laughs> Saltzman made a proposal. The proposal was a little shitty. Doug saw the proposal and reacted. His reaction was a little shitty. Then Saltzman drove to Syracuse and we went after him and now we're in his house. That's, that's like the, yeah. that's like, I feel like the, the that, simplest that explanation to why we're here. I honestly enjoy this man. I enjoy this man's company and I enjoy this man's uh, time and I, I think I don't know. I, so yeah, I do feel shitty about it. I'm like just not having the time I expected at Wormwood. It just doesn't seem like a good fit, and I feel lousy about that. But that's that's where I am at. I want what's best for you. Like it's fine. Like I, that is truly how I feel. If that, and I'm sincere. I, I don't know. Like I'm not. I'm not this good of an actor. I am sincere. I actually want what's best for you. I want what's best for everybody. And that's, and this is, this is my problem. That's why I go so hard. That's why I fucking go so hard is I really want the best for people. And sometimes I'm my own worst enemy because sometimes you can hurt the ones you love. Right? I feel like that's my problem. Frank, this negotiation for the Keystone purchase, it's going terribly. I thought it was going fine actually. And then Doug was just like, oh, I'm so pissed. And he left. Why were you so pissed, Doug? When the argument gets to the point where it's going against the what's best for the company, I'm just fucking done. In terms of the deal, we're not gonna talk about the deal. How are you emotionally? It sidetracks you from business. Big time, mentally, mentally. I'm just ready to put it behind me and just go to work. No, I mean, I've been having, I don't know how you, I've been, been having a terrible time working with James and this whole, the whole Keystone experience has been great until the point of the negotiation. You can have a series of good people all do with the best intentions coming into conflict and none of them are villains. I like, I like the way you said it. Everyone's right and everyone's wrong. Frank, we're driving to Pennsylvania to sign a contract with James. 
how's that contract going? That's what I've been working on all morning. Well, is it going to be ready for tomorrow? Sure, it will be. Oh, okay. But I just need, I need to not like be interrupted with you. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like dealing with a master negotiator like Frank? <laughs> it was, shall we say, good to get it behind us. Or <laughs> <laughs> sign it. Um, there it is. What's the date? Ten. 12, 12, 20. Yep. That's how you do a multi million dollars. Just like that. Wormwood's going through puberty. <laughs> yeah. We've yeah. doubled our space in this facility. Mm -hmm. We're purchasing the Pennsylvania facility and we increased our rental space by 30,000 square feet. Remember all that empty space? Yeah. Less empty. Cross cut. That's all. Those are cameras that just recorded the board. This box right here is a table saw. This whole system, $400,000. Uh, uh, what is this? This is the strapper. Whoa. <laughs> That's a shrink wrap robot. Oh. Oh. <laughs> My ankle. <laughs> Why are you guys getting robots? It's because you bought so many goddamn tapes. <laughs> All of the cardboard you see here, that's probably like two or three days worth of production when we're at full capacity. It is going to be able to custom make boxes for us instantaneously. <laughs> like a pizza box. We get to put this in here. Oh, things are moving along here. Yeah, that's all I got. This is really weird vlogging by myself without, without JV. <laughs>this is weird so we like to let things unfold typically as like the wormlings are watching things <sighs> and right now it really is the best of times it's the worst of times um and there's a lot going on in the shop right now there's a lot going on on the floor the fact that there were 18 people willing to put their name to paper and say that i have bad morale there's a lot going on in ownership Am I the only one that thinks that way? Like, if you have half the company has bad morale, like, shouldn't change occur at the top? The CEO of an organization is typically not the person who deals with this shit. It's all part of growing pains. I do not want to be CEO anymore. That's first and foremost. And just becoming, uh, almost like an official company at this point. As big as Wormwood is and as big as it's going to become, it's not bigger than the world. There are regulations and, and requirements and laws that we have to follow, whether we like them or not. Working here is gonna be a little less fun. We have to go a little bit more corporate. We have to rein everybody in a little bit. I hereby resign as CEO of Wormwood, effective immediately after this meeting. We have the modular gaming table Kickstarter that is basically bigger than Wormwood is. Jason will be the CEO of the company. He will be supported by James Martin as CFO. I think I'm gonna pivot Doug over to work on modular gaming table. We gotta scale this up. Yeah. We gotta scale this up real quick. Quickly. Everything was based on estimations on what, 30 tables? And now we're making 8,000? I give it, I don't know. I give it 50-50. You give it 50-50. I think we're on a knife's edge. Mm -hmm. I think we're on a tightrope. Only we're not walking on it, we're running on it. And if I start to rip workers out of there, if I can't scale up those machines, it won't be the failure of Keystone Legacy, it'll be the failure of me to scale modular game table. Mm. Right, so if I cannot scale modular game table properly, that will be the death of Keystone Legacy. You want to come back? He's coming back. <laughs> He's coming back. He's coming back. <laughs> 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 <laughs>